Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. I run Star Citizen on quite a modest rig at the moment, though I'm just about to upgrade to an NVIDIA uh, 1080, so that's going to superpower my machine. Uh, I get asked though, how do I run Star Citizen so smoothly? How do I get it looking uh, as good as I get it looking for my videos? And that's not even the half of it. When I'm not recording, I can make Star Citizen look significantly better and run at quite a lot higher frame rate. Today, I'm going to show you various tweaks to Star Citizen and your computer that you can do to improve the performance on slower systems or make Star Citizen look better on higher systems or a mixture of the two, as well as other gaming improvements that will just give you a, hopefully, a better Star Citizen experience. User configs. So user.cfg files allow you to get into all of the hidden options and settings of Star Citizen and its engine. You can use them to improve performance, improve quality, or just change various settings to your personal preference. It is the most powerful way at the moment of changing the quality of your Star Citizen experience. And the joy of it is that you can tailor it to your own um, needs. Your user.cfg can be entirely custom. Um, you could just use it to just disable motion blur for example there's some quite powerful settings here installing one is really actually pretty simple i've linked a guide in the description and hopefully on screen showing you how to totally build your own user file um, for star citizen but also i'll link three presets that i've made ultra high which is going to be the, the best of the best quality uh, performance which will be for slower machines or people that just want the highest frame rate possible and uh, visual tweaks only which is my recommended one um, or can cause errors and um, these visual only ones that will just disable a motion blur, depth of field effects and other annoying things that people generally don't like. Once you've downloaded a pre-made or made your own, just drop it in your Star Citizen public folder and you are ready to go. People that are still hanging on to Windows 7 and Windows 8, Windows 10 is now pretty powerful and is so recommended, in my opinion, for getting a good gaming performance in pretty much most games now. There are also so many things you can do to tweak Windows 10. I've been putting together a giant tweak and uh, system kind of guide on how to set up your computer for gaming with Windows 10. Um, and there are so many system graphics driver registry tweaks that you can do to get better gaming performance as well as simple off overclocking. If you're a regular gamer, it's worth setting up your rig correctly. If you don't have Windows 10 yet, I can I can't recommend Windows 10 enough. Uh, this guide goes through a huge amount of those tweaks and shows you how to implement them simply. Uh, there are some stuff that is kind of timeless uh, across the windows there, but it is mainly going to be looking at Windows 10. So I'm going to link that in the description as well. Um, but I mean, it goes through some of the basics, making sure you've got the latest um, system and graphics drivers, um, goes through some tools you can use there. They're all relevant to Windows 10. And they all have different ways to install them. And it's done relatively simply so anyone can do it. But it's registry tweaks. Loads of different stuff there. Um, look through that guide. Do everything there that you can that's relevant to you. And you won't be um, upset. It, 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 it'll go through like disabling... Um, mouse acceleration if you haven't already done that but it will also show you how to uh, tweak your registry so that games will be more responsive and you'll get more um, uh, a lower ping online lower latency that sort of stuff there's lots and lots of tweaks to be done there the guide is pretty extensive and will evolve over time every time there's a new improvement at the time there's something better to do or a new program that does something else better i will update that guide to reflect that sweet fx reshade and xenthas reshade so what does this do sweet fx is kind of a collection of post-processing shader effects for your games um it kind of affects anti-aliasing sharpening um, it tweaks the color gamma and exposure amongst other things in games uh, and it will be specific to that game that you install it to xenthas reshade is a great preset for star citizen that improves the way that star citizen looks especially in lighting shadows and general visual quality i suppose to install it it's really simple again i've done a whole dedicated guide and video on it but you just need to grab sweet fx from the sweet fx website uh, extract it into your star citizen public bin 64 folder uh, and then you're pretty much ready to go and um, you then really i suppose you want to drop the xenthas reshade um <laughs> preset on there afterwards as well um to make star citizen look even better so you go to the uh i'll put the link in the description um uh, xenthas reshade just download that and drop it in exactly the same place star citizen public bin 64 um, and basically the idea there is that when you load the game it automatically injects that driver 
uh, and make Star Citizen just look better. Zenfet is constantly updating these settings for new patches and when he finds better tweaks as well. Um, also, there's a note here, um, EVGA Precision, which is the overclocking program I use for my graphics card, doesn't very much like SweetFX and kind of stops it from running. Um, it doesn't crash a program or anything, it just doesn't inject. Um, so I have to close EG, uh, EVGA Precision, then run the game, and then rerun EVGA Precision to get my overclock program working. I've also made like a secondary resources for Star Citizen, which contains uh, just a big selection of other resources and tweaks. Um, it, useful things like FAQs, issues, um, bug fixes, useful apps, um, the Star Citizen port information if you want to port forward to it. Um, all that sort of stuff. Some of it might be magic thinking, but I like to do everything I can. Shotgun response to making stuff improved and bug uh, fixing. There's also fixes there for like the 100% CPU utilization bug that some people are experiencing where one of your cores will be used 100% and um, that shows that how to fix that. Um, and it's as much about getting a better gaming experience as performance in Star Citizen. Um, just check out that resources page and use and do anything there that's relevant to you. Um, there, there is some good little bits and bobs there, but I mean, th that's also gonna show you controls and um, how to set your controls better uh, and that sort of stuff. Lots of little bits and resources. DSR and VSR, so this is super resolutions. It's the process of downscaling higher resolutions to lower ones, basically. For example, I render um, uh, in 1440p or 4k and then downscale it onto a 1080p monitor or 1080p video. This gives some quality benefits in the forms of reducing aliasing and details clearer, effects and shadows are better, and overall image quality is far superior. This is extremely resource intensive as a feature, but for high-end machines or even for mid-range machines now wanting to downscale um, from like 1440p to 1080p, you can get some amazing results. And it's really simple to do. Um, just make sure you've got the latest graphics drivers for your graphics card. Um, for AMD, it's VSR, it's virtual super resolution. Um, and you literally just need to go into your um, Catalyst control or Crimson control or whatever it is now and enable virtual super resolution on a um, a check on apply. Um, for NVIDIA it's DSR, dynamic super resolution, uh, and you need to go into your control panel for NVIDIA, um, turn on your DSR factors, so uh, this is a the multiplier of your current resolution um, to, to allow for that resolution. So I probably haven't explained that very well. Uh, if you have 1080p native, which I expect a lot of you do, and you choose a 1.75 multiplier, you will have 1440p um, as a uh, as a resolution you can now select. Um, it's a, not a real resolution. It it's a downscaled resolution. Um, and if you wanted 4K, you'd select four times. That would give you. Um, 4K. DSR smoothness is the other setting that you want to fiddle around with here. Um, this reduces aliasing that occurs occasionally, well, will occur when you're doing downscaling and that sort of stuff. Um, you want to adjust this to your preference, basically. For 1440p, for, ex for example, I go around 17%, uh, although for 4K, I found myself only using 10%, um, but that will be literally down to your own personal preference. Once you're done, apply and then when you run the game you need to make sure you set the correct resolution in game so once you run star citizen you need to change it to 4k change it to 1440p or whatever resolution you've gone for I'm a little bit of a tweaker by nature. I'm not sure if I just insulted myself there. Uh, but I really enjoy getting extra performance and quality, um, squeezing them out of Star Citizen and squeezing them out of my hardware. In the future, I would expect most of these features to be accessible or more easily accessible or directly included in Star Citizen in some way, um, automatically done, that sort of stuff. But at the moment, these are the best ways we can um, tweak um, Star Citizen. Uh, that they're kind of like the Windows 10 guide. That's going to be relatively timeless. Um, that's just general um, computer tweaking to get your your rig uh, performing for games better in general. Um, so please check that all out. I know this is more of a signposting video, but it's all important steps to get the the best possible experience. And if you're someone that's complaining that you're only getting 12 frames a second, um, although you've got super beastly rig and you haven't done this, then well, you've got nothing to complain about. Well, you have got something to complain about, but. I'd say check this out first and hopefully that will help you, hopefully. Um, and yeah, just keep tweaking your system. I'll keep on editing uh, these guides and making them uh, more and more efficient or better. Um, if you're going to go for performance, 
check make sure you do the lower end stuff get that get game playable um, and if you've got a, a system that's super high end hopefully this will allow you to utilize your system to its full potential or maybe you're just trying to improve the general star citizen experience but whatever tell me what you think tell me what you think of those various guides tell me what you think of this did you get more frames um what system uh, are you using are you using amd processors amd processors or something i don't have much experience with in star citizen at the moment for example um only really intel so people with with amd stuff might be having a worse time or a better time please tell me and also remember during june we have a buccaneer giveaway to one random commenter um that will comment on any of our star citizen content you can comment on any of it during june um, and if it's not june anymore I'm sure we have some form of giveaway with very similar rules, so check that out. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the verse.